Just look like the sands in the hourglass. I can see them falling, yelling to save their life. But look, they don't hear me calling. See, like G Navy stalling, as if my message is foreign. Melting in this pot, falling slowly. I see them dissolving, crawling to be complete like nine planets in orbit. Straight and forward is how it's recorded to your ear. The target that bought it from within with the intention to kill. False concepts and lies, things that ain't sanctity. These eyes from the despised and rejected I've been selected to teach This tongue be the sword that will make war with this beast Now there'll be no peace until this prophecy's fulfilled And since they think I got truth They gon' be watching me for real But watch me release this skill and reveal this until the dawn I can't quit, I'm like Saddam Keeping my eye on Clinton Watching each move he make Cause every slither he takes Sort of reminds me of ivy and poisonous snakes I feel the pressure Even though his foot ain't on my neck Black can't rest in peace We must all resurrect and check these liars We can't let these vipers divide us see Allah wants to guide us through prophets like Hezekiah down by the riverside standing with my father cry chilling under willows filling yesterday's heroes there goes another chapter look at us brothers and sisters welcome to the truth hour the truth hour that will be aired Thursday at eight o'clock and to take us further into our program is none other than our Western regional representative the man, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, has appointed here in this city. This man will take us further in today's program. Please welcome him, Brother Minister Tony Muhammad, the Western Regional Representative of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. Thank you. <clears throat> In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, the one God to whom all praise is due. We thank Almighty God, Allah, for giving to us Moses and the Old Testament. We thank him for giving to us Jesus and the New Testament. And we are thankful to that eternal God for giving to us Muhammad and the Holy Quran. But I would be remiss in my duty if I did not thank Almighty God Allah enough for loving that people who the Bible gave the description, they would become a lost people, a rejected people, and a people who is despised. We believe that that people who is rejected, that people who is despised, that people who lost their names, their language, their culture, and even their gods, we believe that that people is the black man and woman in America in particular, but black people throughout the diaspora of the world. But we thank Almighty God as it is written that he would come in sinful flesh to condemn sin in the flesh. And he would come to us, and he did come to us in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. And we thank him for raising from amongst us, even though you don't understand him. But we believe that as God continues to strengthen the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the followers, you will begin to understand that great Georgia-born black man by the name of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah. He is the Elijah of the book Malachi closes with behold I will send you Elijah is that right yes, sir. and what would Elijah do he would turn the hearts of the children back back to their fathers that means somebody had to turn away from their original fathers and then he would turn the heart of the father back to his children well, we were turned away from our God, our Father, and we're wearing the name of the white slave master. So he has become a surrogate parent to the black man in America. So behold, I send you Elijah. Deuteronomy say, and I will raise one up from among them, like unto Moses. Moses was a man who spoke with a stammering tongue. Moses had a knot in his tongue and many of us because we was educated we did not understand Elijah because sometimes he would split his verbs is that right <laughs> man I feel good today 
all praises are due to Allah. But if he is to raise one like Moses, then he would have to have one like Aaron. And we thank Almighty God Allah for giving to us today that man who is also in fulfillment of Scripture. If you're really into your Bible and you make a comparison, you will be able to see better than always looking at history and never comparing history to the present and the present to the future. It is congruent and you have to bring them all together. You can't just live in yesterday without understanding today. And you just can't be stuck on today without evolving into the future. And with the help of God, we will try to help you to understand. So we thank Almighty God for giving to us, in my opinion, the boldest black man that is on the planet today, the most courageous and the greatest of all defense attorney, that man is the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And in their holy and righteous names, I greet you all today in the greeting words of peace of Assalamu alaikum. Brothers and sisters, would you help me in giving a round of applause to all um, our student ministers, Sister Minister Aisha, Brother Minister Charles, and Brother Minister Vernon. Let's give them all a round of applause for the wonderful words that they have to say. Today, God willing, is a special day for us here at Muhammad Mosque number 27. We are dedicating the next nine weeks to the hour of truth, the truth hour, to where truth will be hurled at falsehood until we bash out falsehood's brain. Anybody that will bring you things that are false or anybody who will fool you is a devil. You just got food on April the 1st, remember? April Fool's Day. Many of us get caught up in Satan's world and don't even realize it, but yet we claim to be Christians. Yet we claim to be Muslims. Yet we claim to be Jews, but then we follow paganistic practices. And anybody on April the 1st, any of you who fooled somebody on that day, you was acting out Satan's will. April, happy April Fool's Day. We must, in truth, brothers and sisters, we have attempted in many ways to sit down and dialogue with our brother, Reverend Price. We have written him letters. We have called him on several occasions. We say, brother, let us talk. Let us not set trip in the name of prophets. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan have said to us that Reverend Price is a brilliant brother and he has the right. He has the right to explore our theology and our ideologies. But if he is wrong, then he needs to sit down with us and let us point out his wrong. And if we are wrong, sit down with us and point it out. But don't stand behind a rock and cast an excursion and then run back and hide. Come on out in the name of Jesus. See? And let's do this the right way. Come on, Reverend Price. Stop doing your walk-bys. Don't do a drive-by. Come on, you can come to the mosque. You're welcome here. In fact, we will give you this platform. If you think you can defeat what we have that is truth, come on in. And when you finish, I will come up. But you cast your rod, and we will cast ours. And we will tell you who our teacher is, but we want to know who is your teacher. Huh? Because we are a people who are lost. Is that right? Yes, sir. Haven't we been lost from our way? Yes, sir. Didn't we lose our name, our language, our culture, and our religion? Yes, sir. Well, then, Reverend Price, did not God and the prophets see us coming into bondage? Yes, if so, where can we find it in the Bible? 
God is omnipotent. God is all-knowing, is that right? Well, if he is the God of yesterday, he could have seen us coming into bondage. Hell, everybody can find themselves in Scripture, but where is the black man in Scripture? Where is the brown man in Scripture? Where is the yellow man? Where is the red man? Hell, you done found out finally that racism has entered into Christianity. Did Jesus bring it? Come on, Reverend Price. How in the hell in 1998, how could you finally discover that racism was in Christianity? Come on, no, 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 no. I got a question for you, Reverend Price, and any other clergy. We are not attacking the teachings of Jesus. For as Muslims, we must believe in and follow Jesus and Muhammad and Moses and Lot. Is that right? We even have to follow Mary. We have to follow all of the righteous prophets and sons and daughters of God. Is that right? But we will not follow falsehood in Jesus' name. Like Easter. Come on, you Christians that's going to be watching this by TV. What in the hell does Easter and a bunny rabbit and some damn eggs got to do with the resurrection of Jesus? You are a damn fool. And it's happening in April. And you are a April's fool. Now that might hurt you. But hell, sometimes when you get poison and when you're sick, they have to inject poison into the cure. Man, we got absolute truth. Well, the question is, Reverend Price, you set the rules. You, Reverend Price, and I think other clergy like you, you said, I'm not going to follow nothing if Jesus didn't teach it. Right. Oh, is that right? That's right. That's what he then why do you call yourself a Christian? And why do you call the religion that you're in Christianity? Jesus never gave a title to his religion. You can't find the word Christianity nowhere in the Bible. Where you can find Jesus saying, this day God say you are Christians. Show it to me, Reverend Price. Then if Jesus didn't tell you to be a Christian, who did? And any of you that are Christians who are with us today, we accept you and love you, but we just say follow your religion in truth. Don't follow lies added to your religion using the good name of Jesus to hide some Satanistic, paganistic practices. Using the good name of Jesus. We ain't letting white folks do that no more. Or some niggas who are ill-informed. This is the truth hour. We got to have dialogue with our Muslim Christians and brothers. Because the greatest thing to see in 1999, it would be a beautiful thing to see Reverend Price, Bishop Blake, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, the Jesse Jackson. It would be more beautiful to see them together in unity, Reverend Price. Not in disunity, man. If we are the whole body of Christ, you can't reject the arms and you get ready to go into a fight, what you gonna shoot with? I mean, in truth, we have Christians that are here. Can some Christian come up and show me where Jesus told you to be a Christian? Come on, come on, here's your Bible. Oh, maybe you wanna use that Bible that Reverend Price copyrighted. Who gave you the authority to do that, Reverend Price? Are you God? I mean, he could be. Just some questions as we defend who we are. Question to the Christian community. What does Easter have to do 
with the resurrection of Jesus. The Honorable Louis Farrakhan is teaching us from the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that the two most controversial things about Jesus is his birth and the way he died, his death. Because there is no really record or account on really how he died or even his birth. Yes, in the Christian world, you celebrate his birth in December. But was he born in December? No, sir. Come on, Reverend Price, answer that. No, sir. Who told you to celebrate Jesus' birthday in December, Reverend Price? Since you are a descendant of a slave. And then who told you three months later in April to celebrate his death? And what does his dying on a day, why do you call the day when Jesus was murdered a Good Friday? What was good about him being murdered at the hands of them white Romans? I mean, no, you got to help me to understand, even though there is some truth in there, but not the way you carry it on in the name of Christ. Let, let's walk, brothers and sisters. See, because our biggest problem is we really love Satan. Because Satan has substituted himself for God. Nimrod is the one who you are even worshiping during Easter. Nimrod broke Moses' civilization by 300 years, Reverend Price. You go study that. And many of these holidays like Christmas and Easter, all of that was set up by Nimrod, right. one of the worst and most wicked kings to ever live in Europe. Okay, if I'm a Christian and truth come to me, should I leave falsehood alone when truth come to me? Yes, Shouldn't you? Yes, sir. Here's a bunny rabbit. Bam! And rabbits don't lay eggs. That is a lie. And your children believe it in that. Here you are, a Christian, allowing them to believe that because they see mama foolish behind. Jesus never taught you about no damn rabbit. But if you listen to the rabbit on the cereal box, didn't he tell you tricks off of kids? All praise is due to Allah. But where did this Easter thing come from? What is this bunny rabbit? Why eggs? And why do you paint them in the beautiful colors? Are you following Jesus, or when you do that, are you following Satan? Reverend Price, do, do, do uh, you celebrate Easter? Listen, listen, question, questions. If Jesus died on a Friday, Okay, then what day was it? Was it March the 3rd that he was murdered? Come on. Was it March the 15th? Come on. Was it February 9th? Come on. Was it June 5th? Come on. Meaning, Whatever day he died, that day should come around at the same time and the same day. But why is Easter sometime practiced in April and sometime in March? I'm confused, Christians. I'm confused. Reverend Price, why do you change? Why do you follow white folks? If he died at the 
same time, the same day, you should practice it at the same time, the same day every year. And if he died on a Friday and rose on the third day, that would be Monday and not Sunday. Come on, who are these tricks for? I mean, you started this. You started it. We could have avoided all of this. But you over there, shadow boxing. Huh? With no opponent. He's over there doing, uh, what's that guy name with that video? Tabo. No opponent. We don't know if you really can fight. You shadow boxing in the name of Jesus. You ever seen a fool at a park with all the people around? He start practicing collars. Oh, that look good. That don't mean he can fight. He wanted to make you think he could fight so you won't mess with him. You got to do that in the streets of L.A. when you ain't no banger. You got to walk like you want. What, 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 what? See that? He's a buster. Until he tried, he's a buster. Y'all all right? I'm just going to pose some questions. We may not be able to get it all out today, but come back next week for the truth hour. I got nine weeks to deal with you, sir. I don't need nine months like you taking. In truth, we can help you, dear brother, in nine weeks. And those who are following Reverend Price, we're not attacking him. We are attacking some of that crap he's talking. That is not truth. He know the Bible as well as we do. He know that it's been a book that has been revised. The word revised means somebody changed it. That's right. Now, what is Easter? To the Christian community, you are following a paganistic ritual after a sex goddess named what? Estarte, or Ishtar, or Estarte, and these were some European paganistic worshipers who practiced the goddess and followed the goddess of fertility. Because the Caucasian in Europe had lost all of his knowledge when we ran them out of you out of Mecca the cradle of civilization, Reverend Price. We ran white folks across the Arabian desert into the hills and caissons of Europe. We ran them out of the cradle of civilization for making mischief, telling lies. Yes, we did, it's in your Bible. It's in the book of Genesis and we put a cherubim at the east gate meaning a black man with a sword. And we would not allow them to come back among us. And while in Europe, they went savage. They followed anything was a god. The sun became god. At night, the moon was god. That's why he called Sunday, Sunday, because he worshiped the sun. And then the next day, he called it Monday, moon day. He worshiped the moon, fool. Every day of the week is a different God that white folks follow. Tuesday is the God of war. This is why every time America wages a war, she normally does it on a Tuesday. Where did you get the statement, thank God, 
is Friday from? That comes from another god, Pharrellia, the goddess of sex. Talk to me, Christians. You started this, man. You thought we were just going to sit back? No, we just wanted you to keep casting. We're not going to protest. It's not worth that. It's not worth fighting his followers over. Satan is at war for the hearts and minds of the people. We love our people. Hell, we come up out of Christianity. I still love the pureness of Christianity, but I hate what white folks have added to it in the name of Jesus. Many of our Christian brothers and sisters mistake our passion for the truth as if we are against Jesus. No, we're not. That's our brother. He's a black man. Reverend Price, why didn't you tell your congregation he was a black man? Y'all all right? Yes, sir. A sex goddess. So every year, white folks, they didn't even realize that it was different seasons. During the winter time, the dead time of the planet, it is called winter, solstice. But Caucasians, Reverend Price, they thought the sun was going away. And they would light fires all over Europe trying to make the sun come back. Because they are sun worshipers. Go to the beach. They spend $90 million a year on sun tanning lotion. Because they are sun worshipers. And when Jesus' teachings came, they didn't want the pure teachings of Jesus. They wanted to hold on to some of their paganistic practices. And they would look at the scriptures of Jesus and find out where they could add in their holidays into Jesus' teachings. Reverend Price and others like him. Yeah, he, he, they, they put a three on that. They didn't give you Jesus teaching in the raw. They stepped on it. They put some cut on it. Because they couldn't take Jesus teaching in this pure state. So they diluted it. So when you get a hit from it, it don't get you high. All praises are due to Allah. I mean, when you're a real dope fiend, you want your cocaine with no cut. The kind that make your nose bleed when you hit it. Truth is the same way. I want my truth that when I hit it, all falsehood leave. Then your eyes will come open. Huh? All praises are due to Allah. <laughs> you started this. People are not leaving the church, Reverend Price, and running into the nation in no vacuum. They're coming because we teach unadulterated truth and can prove it in no limit of time. Because this is the harvest season that Jesus spoke of. And he spoke of a comforter who would come at the end of time. He didn't say he would come back, Reverend Price. He said, and he shall come, the comforter, and he will lead you into all truth. So the scales that will be over your eyes can be removed, and then you must choose between Satan's world and God's world. But most of us like Satan's world. I don't want to hear that about no Easter. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Gone, 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 gone. I'm going to get my eggs. No, gone. I'm going to get my eggs. Nah. -uh. Mm -mm. I'm getting my I'm getting my chalk gone. <laughs> eh? You lost Satan's word. Uh uh no, y'all moves them gone. I want to hear that about no crimson. Halt right there. Uh uh gone, gone. 
See, we're a thorn in your side. Because many of you Christian preachers can't te keep teaching lies. Because there's a man on the scene called Farrakhan who's dropping truth. And then the people is watching him, and then they're watching what side you are standing on, Reverend Price, and others like you. People are going to rise up, and the people are going to hate lies that was told to them, playing with God's people's mind in the name of some slave doctrine. Hell, if you found racism in Christianity, hell, all of it might be messed up. And Reverend Price made a comment that what Minister Farrakhan teach is flawed. How dare you, man? No, what, what you teaching is flawed. Look, Easter. You say God so loved the world that he gave what? But is that the truth? I heard Reverend Price say, Jesus is the only begotten. Hold up now. Okay, now I'm going to show you something in the Bible, Reverend Price, and those like you. And to our Christian family, pull out your Bible. If you're watching by TV, go dust that thing off. The one you stole from the uh, hotels, go get it. <laughs> dust that Gideon Bible off. Now, let's go in it. Was Jesus the only begotten son of God? Okay, if he was, what was Adam? What was Adam, the first man? What was Adam? What was Adam? Oh, he was a nobody. Huh? Now here's God said, I created Adam in what? My own image. And after my own likeness and gave him power, but he was fatherless. Jesus came forth from Adam. You and I, we are from that same Adam. Hmm. Well, I want you to turn into your Bible to the book of Psalms, chapter 2. Verse 7, Reverend Price, and it reads, sir, it's probably even in the one you copyrighted. <laughs> Next week, I'm going to bring, I mean, there's about uh, close to 200 different versions of the Bible. I have them here next week, God willing. And I want somebody to tell me which one is authentic. It reads, God talking in the book of Psalms to David. He says, I will declare the decree. The Lord has said unto me, thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. Book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 7. God talking to David. I will declare the decree. I mean, here's a decree coming down from God. I'm declaring it. The Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. That's Old Testament. Now, if you don't like that, tear that part out, throw it away. Because it seems to me that David was a begotten too, Reverend Price. Oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I never seen that. Hold up, hold up. 
No, you ain't never seen it. Because most Christians, you are a Christian based on hearsay. You don't go see for yourself. But Minister Farrakhan teach us to search out everything. Every Muslim have to know the book from cover to cover. We don't need no preacher lying to us in the name of Jesus, in the name of Moses or Muhammad. Farrakhan don't have no ignorant followers. Well, if that's not enough for you, Reverend Price, turn to the book of Exodus, sir. Chapter 4, verse 22 and 23, sir, it reads, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. I want to know, is Jesus the only begotten or are you lying? Which of these scriptures should we believe? I'm a little confused. And it's in the Bible that you say is a holy book. If it's holy, that means there are no contradictions in it. And if you find one contradiction in holy words, it can't be called holy. Because holy means with no controversy, no contradiction. What one book would say, the other one would verify. Oh, it's some more. I was just kidding. Yeah. I gotta stop. Now, you know, all right. If you go to the book of Jeremiah, what book? Jeremiah. Chapter 31, verse 9. Reverend Price, it reads, sir. They shall come with weeping and with supplication. Will I lead them? I will cause them to walk by the river of water in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Now, is Israel the firstborn or is Ephraim the firstborn? Or is Jesus the only begotten? Or is David the only begotten? Which one? Because I'm confused. Oh, we ain't finished. <laughs> like black folks say, it's some more. Mo means more, <laughs> Reverend Price. This is the ebonic way of saying a whole lot. <laughs> Jesus talking in the book of John, chapter 5, verse 9. See, because... If you are the son of God, that makes him your child. You're the child of God. Now, I'm going to go to the book of John in the fifth chapter. It reads, verse 9, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. If they, if they are a child, then they was begotten. Okay, that ain't enough. Go to the book of John, chapter 1, verse 12. Check this out. 
But as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God. Here is Jesus. He gave people power to become the son of God. How can he be the only begotten then? We ain't finished. Because, see, I know I can hear the Christian. See, he coming out of the Old Testament. He coming out of the Old Testament. <laughs> and that's what confused me about the Christians. Either you believe in the whole book or it ain't your book at all. See, even you got a problem with the Bible. Because many Christians seem like they don't like the Old Testament. <laughs> In the book of Luke, what book? The third chapter, verse 38, it reads, Seth, S-E-T-H, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. Now here, Seth was the son of God. Was it Seth? Was it Israel? Was it Ephraim? Was it David? Or is it Jesus? You answer that if you can. All of this is incongruent with Easter. What does a bunny rabbit and egg have to do with the resurrection of Jesus. The Honorable Louis Farrakhan teaches us that when the earth is in the winter solstice, it is in a death state, right. taken out of the light of the sun. Likewise, black people who was taken out of Africa, we was driven away from the light of the wisdom of our fathers. Huh? Right. And we was turned That's right. huh? yes, from our father's way, brought on a northwesterly coast, Reverend Price, and white folks buried us in the sin of ignorance. Therefore, bringing winter over our mind. So we need springtime to come to black people so the life of truth can come so that we now can bring in a new man and a new woman and shed off the old man and the old woman. That's what Farrakhan teach us. Winter, meaning you're cold. Look at the black man. Somebody then turned us to cold killers. Got a cold attitude, not toward white folks. See, and I believe Reverend Price is really coming at Minister Farrakhan to apologize to white folks. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I said something about y'all racism. I go out to Farrakhan. Put me back on TV, please. <laughs> Springtime in our world really represents a new year. April 1st, really, the African always used April 1st as the beginning of the new year, not January, when everything is still cold and dead. Right. Because we was in unison with the universe and with nature That's right. and the season. Yes, there are four different seasons because Minister Farrakhan is teaching us that Elijah taught him that the earth takes four dips around the sun and every dip represents a different season. Go ahead. Go ahead. Huh? See, the universe bears witness to what we teach. The cosmos bears witness to what we teach because it was the way we lost. And Jeremiah told you, Reverend Price, that my people have been taken to a far off country. They have given me up the true and living God, and they have taken on another God that does not benefit them or profit them. That's us. Look. 
the sunlight can penetrate the coldness of the ground. And everything that the sun touch, it causes it to rise. Therefore, anyone who put us to sleep spiritually and mentally, when truth come to the black man and woman, like the uh, earth will bring forth flowers and bud them up. Likewise, the teaching of Elijah, when shine on the black man, it causes him from a dead state to be rose to a living perpendicular. Huh? Because somebody, Reverend Price, somebody hit us in the head. Didn't they? Yes, sir. So we are mentally and spiritually dead. We don't believe in the resurrection of some physical dead. We don't believe that mother who died 2,000 years ago in that grave, that one ain't coming up. Don't tell me that, Reverend Price, because you know that. In the book of Matthews, didn't Jesus say, God, who was the God of Isaac and Jacob, he is the God of the living and not the God of the dead, but of the living only? We ain't going to get on that. I'm going to come to that. That's probably week seven. I'm closing with this. Easter. It is a time, brothers and sisters, among the pagan and the druids of Europe. They had so many gods. I mean, my God. And what they do, they take these wicked Satanistic gods and they have integrated them into the Christian religion. Really, the Roman Catholic Church was Satan's household. That's his playground. Bear with me. Estate, the goddess of fertility and sex. Because when white folks saw springtime, they thought that their woman was more fertile. White women, they said they read it. And they would have this holiday every year in Europe. They would have parades and they would deck their women in beautiful flower color dresses. And they would walk with flowers in their hair, symbolizing to their white counterpart, I'm ready now. Reverend Price, and to my Christian family, you go study it under pagan practices. You can find it in the book of Illuminati. White women, no matter at this time of the year, all marriages was off. It was carnival season. Huh? It was Mardi Gras. Carnival mean come out from the way of God for a moment and practice Satan. Carnival is the time of orgies. And white women would paint their bodies in different colors and even some faggots. Because they had this little game. Because you know the white man whole world is built on sport and play. So the white women would paint their bodies in pink and purple and lavender. And then them faggots would paint theirs too. Because this was the game. Whoever was painted, they would run and hide. And the word kind of a mean, hide, go find and seek out. And whoever you found, when the white men, they would turn and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where do you think hide and seek came from, fool? They would run, hide behind a rock, hide in some bushes. And the white men would run looking for them. And even if it was your wife, whatever white man found her, he had to have sex with her. Or him. 
Them Falcons was hiding too. And when the white men were running by them, they trip them. Make sure they found them. You know the rules. You know the rules. Uh-uh, you got to get this. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Come on, you know the rules. That's what you practicing? That's what you got your children doing? You hiding some old eggs and they go get them, then found 12 and eat them and mess up the house. Now you farting in the name of Jesus. Y'all all right? Happy Easter, brothers and sisters. Boy, Satan get all up in this thing. Right. Satan ain't gonna be denied. He don't care about you being no Christian. He gonna make sure you follow him. Right. See, that's why they don't like fire come. Because as Jesus said, and when he come, he will lead you into all truth. He will reprove the world of sin. Huh? Jesus talk. Say, and this one at the end, he gonna testify of me. He gonna be so into me that you gonna look at him and say, my God, he reminds me of Jesus. Who was Jesus' enemy? It was the Jews. Who's Farcon enemy? Jesus said, pick up your cross and follow me. For if you follow me, my enemies will become yours. Reverend Price, you got to stop set tripping in the name of Jesus. I think all of us have to stop the religious gang banging. How can we tell the Bloods and Crips, stop gang banging, and we are gang banging in the name of religion? All of them should kill all of us who do that. But just make sure you got actual facts, because when you come this way, <laughs> okay. We ain't into that turning the other cheek stuff. Not in the manner of what you think. We do turn the other cheek. When you turn mine, hell, I turn yours. That's the other cheek. Not my other one. I'm turning your other one. Please. You kill my catfish, I'm getting your pit bull. Easter. Then you get new clothes. Why? Because you see the earth looks new again. That's what white folks used to do. And you following them, tell the truth. You ain't following Jesus, you're following white folks. Jesus didn't say get no new clothes. He's become a new man and a new woman. He said, shut off the old man. Shut off that old horse woman. That old pimp daddy man and become a new man. But you can't become a new man until you get some new knowledge. All of this lying in the name of Jesus. So how can Jesus be the only begotten of God when we've shown you where the Bible has said that there are at least five other begotten? We proved that today. Now, if you got a different understanding, then come and sit with us and tell us. But if not, accept the truth, and the truth will make you free. But if you want to be just stuck on ignorance because you love wickedness, then tell the truth. You really like Satan. You don't care nothing about Jesus. Reverend Price, you say you're waiting, and many Christians are waiting on the Jesus of 2,000 years ago. Let's read his words and see if he said how he was going to come back. See, we believe in the teachings of Jesus, but we don't believe in all of that white paganistic stuff that's been added to Jesus. You said, Reverend Price, your Jesus got to tell you, okay, listen to your Jesus and mine. 
You turn to the book of John. Book of what? John. The 14th chapter. My Bible has it in red. That means that's Jesus' words. Not what no Mark said or no Luke. Yo, Jesus know what he was saying. He said, verily, verily, starting with verse 12, all the way to 21, then we're going to go from 26 to 31. Then we're going to go to chapter 16, chapter 15, verse 26. Then we're going to go to chapter 16, verses 4 through 12, where it says Jesus speaks of his leaving and the coming of a comforter. Here we go. St. John's 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. He didn't say, shall I also come back and do? And the works that he do. And greater works then these shall he do. He pointed to somebody else because I go away unto my father. Oh, hold up, Jesus. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who is this he you talking about? Now, if it was him, he would say it, and I. But he said, and he. Well, who changed Jesus' word? He said, so I go to the Father. Listen at it. He don't stop talking. He said, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. Now, ain't nothing wrong with that. As Muslims, we believe that you can pray directly to God in any of the prophet's names. But you can't pray to Jesus. He don't answer prayers. I'm telling you straight up. This is April. Any of you who's Pray straight to Jesus, you are an April's fool. But if you pray straight to God in Jesus' name, you are correct. Or in Moses' name, you are right. Or in Muhammad's name, you are right. But if you pray to Muhammad, you're wrong. If you pray to Moses, you're wrong. Hell, they was in need of prayer. You can't pray to people who are in need of prayer. Hell, he was on the cross screaming, Eli, Eli, lama sabatane. Hell, if it was him who he was praying to, why he was saying, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? But the Romans said, my God, he called who? Elijah. See? Then the Romans made mockery. Let's see if Elijah gonna come and take him down. But see, Elijah did come. But we're talking about the one in Georgia that took us down. Off of a cross that we had been nailed to. Elijah Muhammad was the one that told the black man who he is in relationship to God. It was Elijah that love told us to love ourselves, man. All praises are due to Allah. And that's who Brother Farrakhan represents. The Jews even came after Jesus, Reverend Price, and they asked him, and you know they did. They said, are you Elijah? He didn't like, he said, oh, I ain't he. I'm not him. I mean, you know, you can't play with God, Reverend Price. You may have a big, beautiful cathedral. That don't mean God is there. Because our people are blinded by what you see. Hell, God may come up to you like a stinking beggar. Man may come up to you, can I wash it when it get out? Get out, get out, get out. 
Yeah, that might be God checking out your spirit. Oh, beggar, can you help me? No, just got out of church. No. Hell, all the prices follows when they get out of the church, they roll it up out of the hood with the quickness. Doors locked. But Jesus went unto the highways and the byways. He was with the sinners and the publicans. Reverend Price, I ain't never seen you on the corner with the boys in the hood. I ain't never seen you talking to the bloods in the crypts. I've never seen you get out of your Mercedes Benz and your Rolls Royce, which ain't nothing wrong with that. And it reads, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, Jesus talking, keep my commandments, and I will.